Hello teachers, my name is Dr. Babli Chaudhuri and I'm a teacher educator. I'll be the course coordinator for the course 509 which is on learning social science at upper primary level. Dear teachers, in this paper you will find three blocks. In block number one, the content is on understanding social science as a discipline. In block number two, social science subjects and concepts. And in block number three, you will find issues in pedagogy of social sciences. Altogether, there will be nine units under these three blocks. Unit one will provide you the knowledge about evolution and conception regarding social sciences and you will be able to know the similarities and the differences between social sciences and social studies. Also, you will be able to know how social sciences cross the path of their progresses through the ages that is pre-modern world, modern and the contemporary world. After studying this unit, you will be able to discuss about Indian perspectives of social sciences and current status of the society. It will be helpful for you to describe the instructional components of social sciences at school level and interdisciplinary perspectives in social sciences. Unit 2 will empower you to identify the forces that influences the evolution of social science curriculum. And in this unit, it will again empower you to understand the evolution of the post-independence sciences curriculum. You can discuss on national integration, secularism and communalism. This unit will provide help to you uh, to describe current thinking and practice in social science curriculum at the national and the international level. Unit 3 will empower you to discuss the meaning, nature of history and the contents of history at elementary level. You also will be able to describe importance of teaching of history in social science curriculum as well. You can understand historical approaches to understand the past and develop concept map. Unit 4 will help you to understand purpose of teaching learning of geography, reflection on geography, various approaches to teaching geography and domains of geography. Also this unit will help you to justify the rationale of teaching geography at upper primary level as well as design how to design the lesson plan in geography. Unit 5 will provide you an exposure about the content of social and political life in social science at elementary stage. You can here discuss about various methods, approaches adopted by social scientists in political science, economics and sociology as well. This unit make you able to understand the importance of social and political life as a part of science curriculum and the design, how to design the lesson plan for the same. Unit 6 will be able to help you to understand India's socio-cultural and linguistic diversity. Also this unit will suggest you a way to explain how learners understand social science issues as well as approaches to pedagogy as well. You can understand the meaning of cognitive development and concept formation as well. Unit 7 uh, will be able to help you to know the expected general features of a learner centered social sciences class and various factors determining the selection of a strategy. This unit will empower you to discuss various teaching learning strategies that is role play, then project method, dramatization, cooperative learning, concept mapping, critical pedagogy and things like problem solving etc. Unit 8 will empower you to able to discuss the concept, need and importance of learning resources and types of learning resources that is maps, the globe, models, graph, charts, cartoons, books, museums, movies, etc. This unit will also empower you to develop and manage the learning resources. Last unit that is unit number 9, this will help you to understand the importance of assessment in social sciences which is very important in nowadays society. You will discuss here about the concept and objectives of continuous and comprehensive evaluation as well as various methods of assessment. You will be able to differentiate between grading and marking system as well. 
So dear learners, are you ready to join me in this paper? I will be here helping you in uh, knowing about the four quadrants that is in quadrant number one, I will be uploading the contents related to the various units. And the second quadrant, I will be helping you to upload all the videos related to the different units in this paper. In the third quadrant, we will be discussing and I will try my level best to uh, solve all the problems or the doubts that you are finding during the course. And lastly, the assessment unit, which where I will be uh, uploading and preparing various MCQs for you, which may be very helpful for you for appearing in your examination. So dear teachers, are you ready to join me in this paper? I would be very glad to uh, provide all the information related to this paper. Thank you.